Let's look at question 6 from November 2018. Here are my formulas across the top. Remember that I'm going to use divide instead of fractions. Okay, let's have a look. In an experiment, a learner adds 1.5 grams of sodium carbonate to hydrochloric acid. A volume of 306 cubic centimeters of carbon dioxide gas was formed and collected under standard pressure at room temperature. Take the molar gas volume at room temperature Vm as 24,45 cubic decimeters. So we know here, because we're at room temperature, the gas is expanded. We're going to use 24,45 in this formula here. The unbalanced, the unbalanced equation for the reaction is sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid goes to sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. Define the term one mole of a substance. I just did that. Balance the equation for the reaction. Okay, if you look here, the first thing that concerns me is the two sodiums. There's two sodiums on this side and there's only one on that side. So I'm going to immediately put a two in here. Okay. Now I have created two chlorines, so I'm going to go fix the two chlorines in the products by putting two chlorines in the reactants. And then I'm going to check two sodiums, two sodiums, one carbon, one carbon, three oxygens, one, two, three oxygens, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, two chlorines, two chlorines. So I'm fine. My equation is balanced. I've got my two marks. Balance the mass of sodium carbonate that reacted. Okay, you can see here I've already written my relative molecular mass of sodium carbonate down. Two sodiums, 23 plus 23, 12 for the carbon, and there are three oxygens, so 16 times 3. So I've already got that mass there so that I can carry on a little bit faster. What do we know here? We only know, so we must first take what we know to moles, okay? It says to you, a volume of 306 cubic centimeters of carbon dioxide gas was formed. So we can find the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Okay, please excuse, I'm not subscripting this. So the number of moles of carbon dioxide, we're going to use this formula. Okay, so it's equal to V over, over Vm. Okay, you know I can't do the over, so... We're just going to do it like that. So the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Okay, now these units are not the same. This is cubic centimeters. This is cubic decimeters. So I'm going to take this to cubic decimeters. Over. Remember to make sure you do over in your uh, calculation at home. So the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Handy calculator. I've got something like 0, 0,0. 0 one, two, five. Okay, so now I've got the moles of carbon dioxide. I've taken what I've, I was given and I've turned it into moles. Now, what do I want to find? I want to find sodium carbonate. So I need to use the mole ratio from the equation to find so sodium carbonate. So the mole ratio. Okay, I'm going to do this across the page, otherwise it's such a problem. Don't do it across the page, do it down. The mole ratio of carbon dioxide to sodium carbonate is sodium carbon dioxide. They've both got a coefficient of one, even when I balanced it, so the, it's one is to one. So we get 0, 0,0125 moles of Na2C. O3 reacted. Okay, so it did it ask you, it asked you to find the mass that reacted. Okay, well, this is good news because then we don't have to do any subtraction here. So, how will we find the mass of sodium carbonate? We're going to use this one. Okay, the mass of sodium carbonate is equal to Nm. So the mass of sodium carbonate is equal to NNN 0, 0.0125 times the mass, remember I found it earlier, 106. So then we get, if we work this out with our calculator, it will be 
1,33 grams. So this is the mass of sodium carbonate that reacted, and that should be my final answer for seven marks. So make sure you've written in all your formulas every time, and then uh, make sure you've showed your mole ratio and all the things like that. Then it says, calculate the percentage of sodium carbonate in excess. Okay, well, we know that in the beginning we had one and a half grams. And we know that we've used 1,33 grams. So the sodium carbonate in excess, okay, my excess sodium carbonate is going to be my initial minus my final. So it's 1,5 minus 1,33. And if you get your calculator out, 0, 0,17 grams and it wants the percentage so we're going to have to put this percentage this is the mass in excess so the percentage in excess is going to be 0 0,17 divided by the original mass which is 1.5 multiplied by 100 to turn it into a percentage Okay, so look here, this is the mass in excess, this is the original mass. So it's excess over original times 100 to get it to a percentage. We should get 11,33%. If you have um, kept the number in your calculator, you might get something slightly different in your decimal places. But in grade 12 they won't worry so much about uh, the decimal places and they'll give you a range for your answers so but that should be your correct answer alrighty let's look at the next part of this question zinc reacts with sulfuric acid according to the reaction below zinc plus sulfuric acid goes to zinc sulfate plus hydrogen the mass of zinc is recorded during the experiment and is shown on the graph below the reaction stops after two minutes Okay, so if we look at the graph, we started with 5 grams of zinc and we ended with 2 grams of zinc. So this means that there is zinc left over. So zinc cannot be limiting, okay? So what is limiting here? The only thing that can be limiting here is the sulfuric acid, okay? Calculate the initial concentration of the sulfuric acid if 50 cubic centimeters of the acid was used. So we're going to have to find the number of moles of sulfuric acid in order to find the concentration. But we shall start with the limiting reagent because that's going to determine how much um, sulfuric acid we used. Because, well, no, sorry, I'm lying to you. Sulfuric acid is the limiting reagent, but we don't know anything about it except for its volume. But we know stuff about the zinc. So we're going to have to get the zinc to figure out what we, how much sulfuric acid we had. So from this graph here, we're going to read off the graph here. We started with, okay, so the mass of zinc reacted. If you have a look on the graph, it's going to be 5, which is what we started with, minus 2, which is what we were left with. So we used 3 grams of zinc. We reacted 3 grams of zinc. So now we know this, we must turn it into moles. So the number of moles of zinc is going to be M, wrong M, M over M. Okay, make sure you write it as a fraction. So the number of moles of zinc is going to be my 3 grams over, look here, I got it off my periodic table earlier. 65 so the number of moles of zinc is going to be 3 over 65 on your calculator 0, 0.046 something like that okay okay so now we've found the moles of zinc we have to take the moles of zinc to the moles of what we're looking for and we are looking for sulfuric acid so how do we relate them we look at the balanced equation over here so we say the mole ratio of zinc to H2SO4 
is 1 is to 1. So the moles of H2SO4 is 0, 0,046. Okay, please set this out nicely in a little table. I always have problems trying to set this out in a little block structure on the computer, so I've been writing it across the page. Make sure that you put them underneath each other. Lining up your little colons, these colons must be lined up showing you zinc, sulfuric acid, the one under the zinc, the one under the sulfuric acid, the 0, 0,046 to the 0, 0,046. Make it look like a little table. I really have a problem with it in the computer making them line up. Okay, so now what are we looking for? We have to calculate the concentration of the sulfuric acid. Once we know the moles of sulfuric acid, it's easy to calculate the concentration. So the concentration of sulfuric acid is equal to N over V. Remember, it's the number of moles per liter. So the concentration of the sulfuric acid is going to be 0, 0,046 divided by, how much was it? 50 cubic centimeters. Remember, uh, concentration must be in moles per cubic decimeters. So 50 cubic centimeters is 50 over 1,000, which is 0, 0,05. So on your calculator, what will the concentration of sulfuric acid be? Uh, let me just check. Uh, I get 0, 0,92, 0, 0,92 moles per cubic decimeter. And there we are finished. Okay. We should be fine.